Let's dance. Let's shout. <laughs> So I was one of very many people that learned the modes, but did not understand the modes until later on in my playing. In this lesson, we're going to master the concept of learning the modes. If you've ever been confused before in your life about the modes and everybody telling you, you need to learn the modes, the Ionian, Dorian, Phrygian, Lydian, Mixolydian, all of that gobbledygook, <laughs> this is the lesson for you. <laughs> So look, first and foremost, I get it. It's not that glamorous to learn the modes. It seems a little boring at first, but once you get the concept of it, you'll understand it and be able to use it in so many different areas of your playing. That's really the basis of all music. So the modes, if you want to think about it like this, think of a, a long scale. If you have C, D, E, F, G, A, B, C, D, E, F, G. If you were to keep going and cycling that scale, so I'll write it here. All you're doing is starting from the next note. So say if I wanted to start on D instead of C and I play from D to D, that's the next mode. If I wanted to start from E and play another mode or another scale, I'll start from E to E and I have all of those notes inside of that to play that creates that mode. So from C to C, just say we're in the key of C, that's why we're starting off with C. From C to C, this is the Ionian mode. From D to D, it's the Dorian mode. From E to E, it's the Phrygian mode. From F to F, it's the Lydian mode. From G to G, it's the Mixolydian mode. All of those notes inside of that create that mode. From A to A, Aeolian mode. From B to B, Locrian mode. So don't get confused too much with the names of the scale. And you may be thinking it's a little unorthodox or unusual to have these names of these modes that sound like you're speaking a different language. So what I would suggest, if you're having trouble memorizing these names, is to number them. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. And put a number to each name of the mode. That way you can identify the scale with a number. And this will become useful later on down the line too when we talk about the number system. So just to show you a little short demonstration of that, I'll play the same scale on one string just so you can visually see. And it's actually a little bit more easy to see it on the piano or a keyboard to see linearly how this will pan out. But on the bass, since we're playing bass, I can show you here. So if I'm starting C, D, E, F, G, A, B, C. Now, if I wanted to start on the next mode, the two or the Dorian, I'll start on the second note of that same scale. So D, E, F, G, A, B, C, and then D. Remember, we're going from the same note to the octave, so from D to D. And that's how we will work that. You can play these scales on the same exact note, but this is where it comes from. If you take one long scale, take the C major scale or D major scale, doesn't matter, it's the same exact concept. So just take that one scale and cycle it over and over and over again. So you can just continue the scale, like it's a very long scale, like I mentioned in the beginning. So you have from C to C, from D to D, there's Dorian, then from E to E. You're just continuing that same exact scale using the notes inside of that. Now, for instance, if it was a D major scale, you have an F sharp inside of there, so it will say D, E, F sharp, G, you know, and it'll say that F sharp, So, but it's the same exact concept, and you'll do the same thing. Just the notes are a little bit different. But lucky for us, we play bass, the patterns are not gonna change. The patterns are gonna stay and remain the same. Now, keep in mind, each of these modes has its own characteristics and it's very unique. And even songs can be based off of a mode. So say for instance, you have a song in a major key or you just think it's Ionian or just a major scale. But it could be a key in Mixolydian or Dorian. A lot of funk is based off of a Dorian scale and also Mixolydian scale. So slowly but surely, you'll come to find out that a lot of songs are based off of a mode and not just a major Ionian scale. So you don't have to be limited to that one scale that you can work from. It can be in Mixolydian, Dorian. Uh, take for instance the, uh, let's dance, let's shout. That's based off of a Mixolydian scale that has a flat seven, okay? Not a major seven. So you get the difference. That song is just based right there. It just sits right there in that dominant seven key, okay? Or the Mixolydian scale, right? So just take that into consideration. Just remember that 
through your playing or just trying to figure out songs and trying to figure out, okay, is this a major key or a minor key? It has a flat three, but then it has a natural six. Like what, what, what scale? And these are the scales that you can go based off of the Dorian, the Phrygian, the Lydian, you know, the Mixolydian, the Aeolian and the Locrian. Now for memorizing the names, you can come up with your own mnemonic device with trying to memorize these names. I've heard tons of them before, Ionian, Dorian. I just know them now. It didn't really work for me before. I just had to like engrave it in my mind. Ionian, Dorian, Phrygian, Lydian. There are some fun ones. So it's like, I don't play something. I don't know. I can't remember, but let me know what would work for you. Just kind of make up some names or make up a saying or a phrase for those modes. I don't want to put that on. You may have a different one, a nice, uh, even more fun one than I have. I know I'm pretty boring in that area, but <laughs> let me know what you guys come up with, what you have learned before, or what you come up with on your own. So that's the basic concept of learning the modes. Of just the modes in general, I didn't want to get too deep into it. This just really is a crash course on an introduction to the modes, if that makes sense. So I understand that this beginning section, the concept, getting the concept in your head. I know we didn't play a lot today, but that's fine. I want you to understand the concept because I learned the modes. I learned the, I learned all of the, every single pattern of the modes and how they're played and all the positions and things like that. And there's a lesson on that if you are, you know, you should be interested in, in learning about that, but there's a lesson on all the fingerings and all the positions you need to know about the modes. But I learned that I had it down packed in the beginning and I just forgot it. You know, it, I was like, okay, why do I need this? It doesn't make sense. Where is this coming from? not understanding it in the beginning or trying to figure out where it actually comes from. It comes from the actual scale and it's just a representation of the full scale starting from a different point. That's all it is. Once I got that concept down, it really helped me to uh, improvise. It helped me to build chords. It helped me to build triads. It helped me to build bass lines. So hopefully it does the same for you. Make sure your notes are coming out clean, clear, and precise. If you haven't subscribed to the channel, hit that red subscribe button at the bottom. Click the notification bell icon. Also, if you're interested in learning the modes, we have a whole entire full course diving deeper and deeper into the modes, understanding the modes and actually understanding each one. Like we went into a song when we played that song, we learned about how that mode can be the key of the song. So if you're interested in learning about that and diving a little bit deeper and understanding it as a bass player, the Bass Nation Academy is where you need to be. I'll put the link in the description so you guys can check that out. We have weekly live classes, tons of courses, uh, personal feedback from me and other instructors, uh, so much more. You guys check that out on your own. Like I said, make sure your notes are coming out clean, clear, and precise, like I always say, and I'll catch you guys in the next one. Peace.